Sandbox info has been pretty light recently, and I think that during the time that I wait before doing another round of video, we'll be diving back in once more again into the community with created games that I feel are definitely worth keeping your eye on. I had covered a game called Warbox a couple of months ago, which is a arcadey first person shooter like Call of Duty, since that's the best description for the game. But more recently, the game has seen a ton of new changes, including the name of the game itself, which is now called Strike Force. Strike Force has been an interesting game that's being developed by one person, which is Zombie Extinguisher. This lovely developer has taken time out to recently do more playtesting in regard to other game modes that you can play within the game. For this specific video, the game modes consisted of Gun Game, Domination, and Team Deathmatch. I do want to mention that I did my absolute best to get some good and quality gameplay for the background while I talk, but both Ping and some better players definitely had gotten the best of me when in some of these matches. Now, in terms of the maps we played, we had started off with a classic Call of Duty Black Ops staple everyone knows, which is Nuketown. This map was created by Sigma Gaming, which obviously put a good amount of time to create an ode to the classic styled map with layout and even placement of models and props to boot. I would say with the way that the gameplay felt and also this map was pretty nice. It flowed just like the original map itself and firefights between players always felt like a fun time unless I was getting destroyed. Overall, the feel of the map and also playing on it felt like a breeze. Switching over to the second map, which is Kill House, another popular Call of Duty map. This map was created by Chimona Hee Hee, which once again squeezes every bit of the power within the Source 2 engine to bring out the best visuals, style, and overall level design to this map. For this map, playing on it was a ton of fun. There were times I was able to get the jump on other players, and when there was a chance to do so, they would do the same thing to me, including a couple of times I've died to people looking down on me, which I noticed there was a new upper section with catwalks and all. I do want to mention that with this map, there has been some interesting things I've noticed too, and I'm not sure if it's just the game itself, which is still being worked on, or the map. But there was a good amount of times that it personally felt like I was getting stuck on things, specifically if it was a prop in the middle of the map, or doorways, which sometimes felt like I was struggling to get into when running away from a fight. Again, Again, I'm not sure if it was just me, but this was my personal experience, and in some cases, while this was happening to me, this may not happen to everyone that has a chance to get to play within this map. Those things aside, everything else from the flow of the map to design, style, and aesthetic are really well done and so much fun to play and experience. It's very exciting to see more new maps getting supported for Strike Force and also having cross compatibility with other games within Sandbox and more. I forgot to mention huge shout out to Zombie for adding community themed calling cards and emblems with recent updates including some of the other development teams like Three Thieves and Cigar Lounge and even some of the content creators like myself that also have an emblem in the game too. But of course, for those that really enjoy this video and want to see more awesome content by me, check out this new social game that I recently covered in Sandbox. Thank you for watching.